Well, this morning we woke up to minus one degree and it's already up to 23 degrees. We got a warm spell coming up. Yeah, the animals know it too. They were out sunbathing. Yeah, soaking was, up the sun today, aren't they? Yeah, when it was real cold, they wouldn't come out. They just stayed inside and stayed warm, but they're enjoying the sun. I think it feels pretty good, actually. A lot better than it has. Yeah. So it's supposed to continue to warm up over the next four days. And by Thursday, it's gonna end up being 55 degrees. But the problem with that comes rain. It's gonna rain for the next four days, starting tomorrow. And we ought to get a couple inches of rain this week. So this whole barnyard, everything out here, all this is gonna thaw out. And this whole place is gonna become a muddy mess once again. So today, we finally gotta get these animals moved out of this barnyard over to the other barn. So we got our final preparations with the other barn, don't we? Yes. And then we can finally move everybody over. Yep. Maya, I'm against the fence. Her head is so bony. Okay, Maya. Come on, honey. Let me get the brush. You want me to brush you? So I'm Evan. I'm Rebecca. And welcome to Country View Acres. So today, after Rebecca gets done petting the animals, we're gonna move over to the white pole barn. We've been doing a lot of work over there. We just got our final things we gotta get done to be able to move these animals over there and they're gonna have a new home for the winter. <laughs> Maya, stop that. Oh, now you got it all dirty. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody pet or scratch a cow like this before. She likes it. Yeah, she does, obviously. And your neck. Oh yeah, you can tell she really likes it the way she moves her head up. As long as she doesn't hit me with her head and the chin. Yeah. So we spent a couple days, we got this pretty well completely cleaned out right now. There's a couple pieces of metal uh, frozen in the ground over there. But what we've done is we've got all the electrical straightened up. So you can see we've, we've covered up the electrical box so that they can't pry or scratch themselves on this lip. It is protected a little bit. And then we took all of our outlets and we have moved them up. They're over six feet high and these are all GFCI protected to prevent anybody from being able to get shocked. So there's only one outlet left to move and that is this one. We haven't decided where to put it because we're gonna use it to, for a heated waterer. So we don't know exactly what location we're gonna put that one in. Now we still need to protect the water hydrant and I figure when we protect the water hydrant, it will also keep the animals from getting to that outlet once we get it fenced around that. And the other problem we have that we need to fix is this barn is very drafty. Um, it gets a lot of wind blowing through here and you can see, hopefully you can see, can you see the light shining through there? So the floor is not really sealed up around and it's, we get a lot of wind that comes through this location and this blows wind right through here. So it kind of makes it cold. And of course the animals will be laying right there on the ground where the wind's going to come through. So I think the first thing we want to do is I've got a bunch of extra gravel on this side. So we're going to, the ground is frozen. I don't know how well this is going to work. We're going to try to scoop up some of the gravel in this area. We're gonna spread it around the edges of the barn and try to get it sealed up a little bit better to try to keep the wind and the draft from in, you know, coming in here. And hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer for the animals. And the other thing we're gonna do is we're probably gonna end up moving a hay feeder in here so that we can feed hay in, in, just inside of here. I think right now for the winter time, it'll keep it out of the rain and the snow and it'll make it I guess the, uh, so the hay doesn't get frozen easier for them to eat. Cause the other round bell we have out got like two inches of rain on it. And then it like froze completely. And it's like just a big frozen block of hay right now. So I think we'll end up setting a feeder up in here. Yep. And the last thing we have to do would be to put the panels on the wooden oh. fence and then it'll be ready. Yep. So what Rebecca was saying, we still have some stock panels that we need to put on this wooden fence here so that they can't get out. And then we should be able to lock them up inside of this area at night where they're secure. All right, Rebecca's going back to get a rake and a shovel to help spread gravel. We're gonna to try to dig it out with the 2515. 
I ended up putting a ballast box on the back of this. That way this is a lot shorter. Hopefully from this angle, you can see how short this is. So hopefully I can get this in the barn and maneuver and get sideways in all different directions in here to scoop and dump this gravel. All right, we got all the gravel moved around. You can't see any daylight around the edges anymore. We got it sealed up all the way around the barn. And uh, I think that went fairly smooth. What do you think? Yeah, looks a lot better. Yeah. Not as drafty. Now I know people are gonna comment about this gravel and some of this gravel is too big for the animals. And that is true. Ideally, we'd have more like rock dust or rock chips. Um, for this very top layer for, for the animals' hooves so they didn't get rocks in their hooves and stuff. But the problem is this is winter time and the roads are shut down. Yeah. So we can't get any loads of gravel right now to be able to top this off. So hopefully in the spring we can uh, redo the inside of this a little bit and redo the floor in here. But for now, this is the way it's going to be. What do you want to do next? We need to move that in here. You want You want to move the the cattle chute in here yeah well, i'm gonna have to warm up the other tractor we think we're gonna set it somewhere in here out of the yeah. weather and then possibly we might be able to use it because we they, they need shots yeah right so mm -hmm. we need to at least run them through the chute at some point in time and maybe it'll be easier if we have it sitting in here yep. plus it won't be in the way because we need to be able to drive through that gate if we want to with the tractor and get in here and this is right in the way yeah, and I think we'll have to get that in here first before we bring in a hay feeder, so. Okay, yeah, we can do that first and then hay second. Yep, Then you want to do the water last. last. Okay. Mm -hmm. So before I switch over to the big tractor, we've got this metal um, that is frozen in the ground here. This is just some like angle stuff that's stuck in the ground and this is three quarter inch rebar stuck in the ground. Let's see if we can get a tractor on it. There you go. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Oh. That one was the one that's more rigid. The other one won't be as easy. As much as that moves, you'd think it'd come out, but it's just floppy. 
froze in the ground. So this has got a protective cover around it. I don't know if it's gonna protect it enough. Just may want to cut this strap. There got we go. It. It's amazing how little it was in the ground, but you could it would not come out. Yeah, it was only in there like four inches. But it's just the ground, amazing how when something freezes. Afraid it's gonna be frozen to the ground, so that's not too bad. This thing may be bigger than the door. Oh, I made it in. Maybe I could put a chain around it, just drag it backwards. What do you think? I brought a chain. Bye. That's actually fairly straight too. I think I'll take that. Let's say the wind ended up blowing this shut and now <laughs> oh, yeah, we got snow Yeah, that was about the gentlest I've ever laid that down. Usually it slams. So the next thing to do is protect the water. Yep. We got a little bit of a plan. Since the ground's frozen, what are we gonna do? Well, we were hoping to pound in some T-posts and secure some fencing there, but the ground's way too hard. So we're just going to get a stock panel and stretch it around and staple it to those posts back there. Yeah, see if we can get a stock panel at least around the hydrant in a way to keep the man animals from messing with it, right? Yes. Yeah, so we gotta go find a stock panel. Yep. Let me swing my end around. You just wanna, should we staple that end? First, First. probably. I would say yes. I don't know, I think that's looking pretty good. Yeah. We're gonna need to cut a hole out so we can reach it. So you just want me to cut the top off? Is that what you're wanting yeah, me to do? Yeah, cut the top, a couple rows. Okay. Now I can reach the hydrant. Yes. No problem. All right, the time has come for us to try to move the animals over to that barn. So I've got a hay bale here, kind of teasing them a little bit. I think they're ready to eat it. We're hoping to get them to follow the hay bale all the way over to that uh, pasture. You can see 
they're all waiting right here at the gate staring down that hay bale so i think they're ready to go can you hold this you get in the tractor and yep be ready to go be ready to back up you see that hay bale don't you you want some so do you We left the big gate open. <laughs> they can be able to run right out. Here they come, you better. better block them off. They're gonna follow you. Check this out, Maya. Here. Oh good, Maya's eating it. We gotta shut the gate. That was almost a big mistake. Yep. Oh, here comes Maya. Full force, running full force. Can't go out there, Missy. And here comes Mo. I know. Oh, oh tripped, Ellie tripped over him. Yep. He got in her way. Maya's going. You shouldn't to stop like that, already. Mo. Maya's exploring everything. Well, they've never been in this barn. Yeah. This is the first time they've ever been in here. We've kept it locked up from them. Yeah. So this is all new to them. So we've got them in here. We lured them in with the hay. Now we've got to get the water trough um, and get it filled. And get it set up in here, get the heater yep. plugged in. Yep. And the, the other you, they're slow. They're starting. Here they come. Yeah, they've Look at been, them running. Yeah, they've been <laughs> hanging out back there. Unplugged. Yep. This water is going too. Almost fits. Let's try that again. All right, we're just gonna move this outlet down here. I don't think the animals will be able to get to it. We'll get our water heaters, de-icers plugged in. Well, you can see the sun is down. We're running, we've ran out of daylight, I guess. But we've got to cut a couple stock panels and just put it one right here and one right there. And then the barnyard should be good enough where we can lock them in here and they can't get out. So at least that's what we're shooting for so we can lock them up at night. Either these boards are really hard or they are, are frozen, very frozen. I'd say that's what it is. Because I am just bending these staples up. Hey, that one went in. Well, we ended up running out of daylight last night. So it's the next day and everybody has settled into the new location. I did make a modification to this hay feeder so that the sheep could get in there easier and eat the hay since this is a hay ring. <laughs> but Maya is laying right in front of it right now. So I ended up, I, I spread it apart and I put this bar between there to, to hold this open. Hopefully you can see, to hold that open. I think it's 20 inches right now. It's probably a little bit wide. I can probably shrink that up a little bit. But that does allow the sheep to be able to just get inside and eat the, the hay bale. So. 
didn't want them to have to try to jump inside of it, especially with the, the ewes should be pregnant. So we were trying to make it easier on them. So keep in mind, this is just a temporary setup to be able to keep the animals out of the mud. Um, with it warming up this week and raining all week long, by next weekend, that other barnyard will be a complete muddy mess and just terrible. So this is a better location. It's higher up on the property. We don't have any mud issues, at least right now around this. So this should be a good place for the animals to be during this type of weather. And we do plan on coming back this summer. We're gonna put a butter floor in here and get it kind of finished the proper way. And we're gonna put in some pens. We're gonna get the cattle chute set up in here so that uh, we can use it and work the animals. And, um, you know, we'll try to get the interior of this barn actually the permanent way this summer. This is just a temporary setup for now. And I think it's gonna work out fairly well. But anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you in the next one.